Well, good morning, or whatever time you're watching this, but welcome back. Um, it's about an hour before the release video, and uh, I've been checking the website just to see if anything updates, and just a moment ago, the uh, website has updated. So the bikes have been revealed. Let's take a look. A couple immediate surprises, but let's take a look. All right, so here on the uh, website, you can see the first thing I noticed was the handlebars of the Road Glide. They look uh, much higher um, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, less of that uh, buckhorn bar that we've hated over the years. It's just not ergonomically great. And now we've got uh, handlebars that are clearly much taller. <clears throat> so that, that's a good look. And uh, one less thing to maybe change as soon as you get the bike. If we look over here on the uh, street glide, you can see that fairing uh, clearly adjustable going up, uh, up and down there. And maybe it's electronic. Maybe I was wrong. We'll see here. Um, the other thing I noticed, you can see down here that oil cooler space is really quite dramatically large. Um, but I can't tell from here if it's liquid cooling. All right. So if we scroll down, look at here. CBO Road Glide starting at $42,999. I, I, I am really pleased to see that. Uh, a number that starts with a four and the second number a two. Um, I think they had to align with the CBO pricing from the past few years. Uh, we also anticipate these bikes to be uh, the new Road Glide and the new Street, street Glide in 2024. So, uh, you know, the, the how much of the bike will carry over um, from the CVO to the standard product line, I bet a lot of it. Um, so the pricing, I think, is is at least decent. Uh, CVOs are still incredibly expensive, but hey, we got we got uh, close to what I was hoping for. So that that's great. Let's take a look. If we tap on it, it says two colors available. So we know that. Get a video here. So you're seeing this the first time that I'm seeing it. So you can see that here. We're not, uh, nothing too uh, revealing. All right, he's riding along. There's the two bikes. All right, it just continues. All right, well, let's, let's, uh, let's go on and look. All right, so look at this. Our first real pictures of the bike, right? So we can spin it around and take a look. So. We do see the chrome exhaust. Uh, I kind of predicted that uh, from the uh, from the early photos, but look, the crash guard uh, appears to be a dark chrome or black. It kind of looks chrome a little bit, but it might be just black. So that's good. You can clearly see the handlebars are straight and vertical. They do bend back a bit. Um, they look comfortable, to be honest. So uh, maybe we'll be happy with those out of the gate and we don't have to buy handlebars right away. Can't really tell from the uh, here what the windshield does or doesn't do. Uh, what else do we see here? Oh, the real, rear tail lights. They're a little different style here, look. So the saddlebags look a little wider than they did in the early photos. I think that's good for storage space. And then the, the, the rear lights are much wider than we've seen thus far. Okay, what else? We still got the little uh, winglets there. The dash, you can see the gas uh, gauge is in the center. And then look at that screen. The whole thing is screen. So we can see here there is venting. And the button that I think I've been seeing in the videos is uh, to control the venting. So I have to assume that windshield is electronic. Um, if we look at the controls, they're not a great picture. I do, it does look like a left indicator there. And over here, I bet that's a right indicator. So I think the, the turn signals are the same. The buttons don't look crazy as they did in some of the photos. Uh, we can see the two speakers there. All right. Whoops. Let's uh, let's keep going here. What else do we see? There's that mono shock adjustment. It's got to be mono shock. It has to be. That's the adjustment. You see the the cord going up. That is my assumption. Uh, we don't we don't see it here. Uh, there's.
here's the 121. The, you can see uh, the, the, the uh, shifter linkage looks to be about the same as the current ones. I don't know. Are we gonna still struggle with that one or not? Clearly the horn is somewhere else on the bike as we predicted. Uh, the wheels are the same CVO wheels that we've had for the last couple of years. Really not a fan of the laced wheel. Um, I, I love the, the black uh, uh, wheels I have on mine, but uh, hey. All right, so anything from the front. You can see that here, pretty basic of uh, nothing super exciting, nothing standing out to me here. You can see the mirrors are a little different than what we saw in the original photos. It looks like a Rizomo collection to me. Um, I think that's probably what that is. All right, well, quite, quite a few learnings here early. Let's take a look at the other color. It is the color we saw in the pictures, so uh, no surprises there. I'm not seeing anything else. I love that price, 42999. Let's see what it says. Um, pure emotion, more videos. Here's our light. We don't know what the turn signal does. Is it sequential? We don't know. Got the, a lot of pictures here. There's no, no sound. Let me see, is my sound down? Nope, no sound. Not hear anything, so a lot of great pictures here. Turn the turn signal on. Does it sequential or is it just a blink? All right, that'd be great to see. All right, so a bunch of marketing. The shark nose fairing takes on new life, fully integrated LED lighting, the new uh, windshield design. Uh, using a fluid dynamics to improve efficiency. So they did some wind tunnel testing with it, right? Um, it says, Glide gives optimal aero performance for rider comfort and aggressive new take on the design. We shall see. Uh, Streamlessly integrated CVO uh, Rogue Light Design, the full LED lighting package optimizes visibility, uh, integrates turn signals, and accentuates the lines of the shark nose fairing. Well, do you, what does it look like when you turn them on? So maybe we'll see that in the video. Not seeing it here. The fuel tank, so it's still a six, six gallon tank. We, we believe that to be true. And the shape, I think is slightly different, but nothing dramatic. The wheels, so we have a, a 19 inch front, no more 21, and the uh, an 18 inch rear. I, I think from handling, that makes sense. I've never really had a complaint with my, uh, my uh, uh, 21, but uh, I think that makes sense. And then the bags, more aggressive, increased, uh, it, says, it, it says increases overall luggage volume capacity. So that's interesting. All right, available in the dark platinum bright smoke uh, satin uh, pinstriping or the two-tone whiskey and raven metallic with airbrush details. So I'm going for the orange one. We got the display plane here. They've been showing around. We, that would have been good to catch all of that. It's so cruise control. I'm sure we've got ride modes here. They're talking about the, the speakers. Etc. I do look at the handlebars, and there they kind of look like the buckhorn, but in the side picture they they clearly look look larger. But look at that! Look at that! Dis look at that display. So there's our cockpit that we talked about in my first video. Are they gonna mess with it? Well, let me first impression. It's a lot of screen. It, it's very similar shape to me, so that doesn't bother me uh, too much. I think the shape is similar. We still got the, the little compartments on both sides, which is great. Um, the controls don't look overly crazy. There are still a lot of buttons there. Um, the screen clearly moves. We're not seeing anything about that. So it's a 12.3 inch screen. Okay. And what can we fast? Can we go forward here? 
got, uh, let's see, in-dash experience with three unique display options. So three display options. An all-new suite of connected infotainment features powered by Skyline OS. Interesting. Let's we'll figure out what that what that means. Ride modes, no surprise here. We got ride modes. The RDRS is in here. Um, and just so let's see, engine braking, uh, RDRS, and ride modes. No surprise there. And then the Rocker Fosgate Stage Two. Uh, featuring four channels, 500 watts RMS amplifier uh, for the speakers. Right. What else can we learn? More dynamic touring engine. So I assume that's uh, their term for variable valve timing. There's that back uh, picture there. Is that reverse? That was a big question. Is it reverse or not? Not sure. Bunch of shots here. No real detail. All right, let's see what's this here. Highest deployment ever. Variable valve timing 121. Li liquid cooled cylinder heads. Liquid cooled cylinder heads. Looks like twin cooled to me. Uh, variable valve timing, a new intake system. We, we've got that increased di displacement, more power. Uh, than the Milwaukee 117. So even though the uh, specs in Australia said the engine was the same, apparently we have more torque than the 117. Broadens the overall power band and improves fuel economy, which was why we they went with that. Interesting, right? So liquid cooled cylinder head. Is that so? I assume is that radiator fluid or is that oil? Um, I assume that's radiator fluid. Four and a half inch diameter uh, exhaust which everyone will want to replace. Um, 35 pounds lighter. So I talked about that too. I said, would the bike be lighter? lighter? Would we shed some weight? And sure enough, we've uh, shed 35 pounds. Showa inverted forks with three inches of suspension travel, optimizing three inches ain't a whole lot, but we'll see. So it says that about the front, Dual 32 with Brembo, no surprise. Rider safety enhancements, RDRS. What about the rear suspension? All new seating for comfort. It is a better looking seat. And they're showing that knob, but no mention of it. Let's see, aerodynamics. The thing is aerodynamic. They clearly changed the shark nose design. Put it in a wind tunnel, we'll see how well it works. Um, we got the new seat, the flatter design. Well, I do like the seat. Uh, I bet that is more comfortable and it certainly looks good. The show remote, uh, remote adjustable uh, shocks increased travel compared to its predecessor. 50% more travel. That will help. But it, is it a mono shock? It appears not to be. They are not mentioning that here, so it's just an adjustment. We got that, we got more travel, but I don't think we have a mono shot. What does it say? Cold weather comfort. So we got a heated gear comes standard, uh, the uh, connections for heated gear, and I assume that's a button for uh, heated grips. Doesn't really say. All right, any key things we want to so we know it's 35 pounds lighter. It's got way more ground clearance, 5.7 inches of ground clearance. That's great. I think that's great. Um, fuel capacity is the same. The weight's uh, 35 pounds less. What's it say here? Four stroke compression fuel system, exhaust. 139 foot-pounds of torque. Engine uh, torque, uh, 3,000 RPM. So that's a little lower RPM where that cork, uh, torque kicks in. I think that would be nice. Ling angle 32, left and right. I don't recall the last, but that's got to be more. Uh, nothing here. All the same that I can see. Inverted front forks, dual adjustable emuls uh, emulsion suspension with remote preload 
on the left shock and threaded preload on the right. So we essentially got an enhanced rear suspension with more travel and adjustable, but not a mono shock. How about that? How about that? All right. What else do we got here? Uh, got the basics here. Of course, we know it's all digital. Skyline OS. Gonna have to dig into that. What is Skyline OS? 12.3, uh, 125 watts per channel. I do think the Rockford Fosgate move that Harley made was a good good one. They've done a great job with that partnership. Great reviews on that sound system. Anxious to hear it. I was not overly disappointed by the uh, boom system I had. It, it works and uh, it sounds really good. And I do, I've learned to really enjoy writing with music. Um, but I, I also, at, at a light, I don't like sharing my music with everybody. So it does lower the volume for you. But but man, it is quite an experience to ride with music without having to have headphones. It's a neat experience if you've not, not experienced it before. What else we got here? Vehicle hold control, so tire PPS, corning hand, so I don't see anything new here. All looks the same. 42.99, we got that custom two cone color. So I assume I'm gonna pay 48.99 for the paint. Um, that's disappointing, right? I like the 4299, but what's it, what is the, cu the custom two cone? So clearly the orange and uh, um, uh, fade is uh, more. So we'll think, maybe I'll have to switch, we'll see. We'll see California emissions and there's that stinky $1,200 surcharge. So this is gonna put you at the $50,000 range. Not a surprise. Still happy to see the base price with a four and a two. Uh, the paint, wow, that's a $49,000, 50 grand for that two-tone paint. We'll see. All right. Well, there's a, a quick preview of it. My initial reactions, I'll be watching the video here in about an hour. Um, uh, we'll see if we learn anything else, but uh, there we go. So, I don't know. Overall, first impressions. Uh, we don't know what the windshield does. Is it electronic? I, I think so. It doesn't, doesn't show that. Um, you know, the engine, we'll see. We'll see what it sounds like. Uh, the lighter weight's a, a big win. I think that's good. Um, what else that I'd see? The handlebars. I think if those handlebars are a lot more uh, friendly uh, ergonomically, then it may not need to change those. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Those are my first reactions. Uh, it'll be a great day to learn more about it. So we'll post another video here when we have any more details. But that's my first impressions. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll uh, see what happens with my order and uh, how much money I can spend and which color I end up with if I, and uh, when we'll see it. So the, my dealer did tell me that they would be able to place orders today, uh, but the bikes will not ship till July. That's what they said. So we'll see. So may not see it till July. But anyway, thanks for sharing this moment with me. It's uh, been a long time waiting. And I uh, thank you for joining me in the Friction Zone.